So the first one is a 74-year-old lady who had an out-of-hospital VF arrest uh, at just before half past 10 in the morning, and she got very prompt bystander CPR. She initially got ROSC after uh, two shocks, and her ECG, once she'd achieved ROSC, showed an inferior infarct. Um, but in the ambulance, she then developed PEA, and an autopulse was put on, and she arrived in hospital just over an hour after the initial arrest. Um, she had ongoing CPR using the automated device while she got onto the cath lab table, and here's the picture of her left coronary. And you can see it's quite difficult to see what's going on because the heart's moving so much, but you do actually get used to it. And you can see here that the left coronary is essentially okay. There's some minor disease, but there's no sig significant disease in the left coronary. And I'll just show you another couple of views of the left. So you can, you know, even though you've got the interference of the device in the way, you can still get quite good pictures of the coronaries. And there's another picture of her left coronary. <coughs> and here's the right, and in fact, we'd achieved ROSC by this time, which is why the device is now turned off. Uh, you can see there's a very severe lesion in the mid-right coronary, uh, which we stented and achieved a very good result. And um, she made an uncomplicated recovery and was home after about day five. <coughs> 